Can meringue be considered a cake? Or does this fall under the flan's category? Cake, flan, or pavlova, all I can say is that it's pretty delicious and those macros are just amazing. So without further ado, let's dive right in and learn how to make this delightful dish. To kickstart the cake, I begin with the caramel topping. On medium heat, I gently melt a quarter cup of allulose until it becomes a smooth liquid caramel. It's crucial to use allulose and it's the only sweetener that will caramelize effectively. Other sweeteners such as monk fruit, lacanto, stevia or any other alternative won't yield the same result. Once the allulose has caramelized into a golden liquid, I swiftly spread the caramel over my 4 inch baking tray using a brush. Quickness is key here, as the caramel will solidify rapidly. After the entire base of the tray is evenly coated, I set it aside to cool while I prepare the meringue. Making the meringue, start by fluffing up two egg whites with a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. You know, easy peasy. Once they're well aerated and fluffy, I add a third of a cup of sweetener and mix on low speed until the mixture is well integrated. This is perfect time to add a personal touch to your meringue with a teaspoon of vanilla extract strawberry extract or any other flavor that tickles your fancy. I stayed basic on this one myself. With the meringue prepared, I carefully pour it into my caramel coated baking tray and spread it evenly. I then place my tray in a bain-marie with a larger tray and fill it halfway with water. Bake it at 300 Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Once the baking process is complete, I remove the cake from the oven and allow it to cool down to room temperature. Quick tip here, if you remove the tray from the bain-marie, the cooling process will be expedited. When the cake reaches room temperature, I use a butter knife to gently detach the sides and flip the cake onto my plate. And there you have it, your delicious meringue cake is ready to be devoured. I love this delightful dish to tantalize your senses and savor every bite. I really hope you give the recipe a try and if you do, please let me know how you like it. Happy baking!